Dan Fouts is holding the money for the guy that cries the longest. And I'm going to win it. <laughs> Thank you. Let me tell you, this is the miracle of Canton. All right, the miracle, probably because I'm here, for one, not expecting to, but a miracle because um, I think a, about a third of Dayton, Ohio is here, or right there. All right, half of Cleveland is here, three quarters of which are my relatives, and I think the rest are the men of Benedictine. Of course, from Dayton, there's the University of Dayton people, a lot of them here, and three quarters of Pittsburgh. You know, I feel my, you know, the luckiest guy in the world, Dan Fouts, claimed it. Uh, I think he's second. The, uh, the, fact, the fact that you can get an opportunity, a timely opportunity, uh, that you can put together uh, some teamwork, I think is the thing that, uh, that you're looking forward to. You know, my background in Cleveland was a, a great opportunity going to uh, uh, Benedictine High School, which uh, would allow academics and uh, sportsmanship and moral responsibility stay on an equal level with athletics. And I think that's important for young people. Having coaches that helped you uh, be the best you could by teaching you technique and helping you uh, do that. That's something that stayed with me through my career. And it's, uh, it's something I'm eternally grateful for. But coming back to opportunity, uh, being drafted 21st by the uh, Cleveland Browns and uh, coming back to play for Paul Brown uh, was something that was very special to me because uh, times have changed. I think in uh, 1946, I paid 25 cents to sit in the dog pound. They didn't call it that at that time. They allowed high school uh, players, uh, football players, to come in and for a quarter, you could watch the likes of Lou Groza, Otto Graham, uh, Dante Lavelli, uh, you know, Marion Motley, uh, the guys that are sitting here, Bill Willis, uh, special people. I never had the idea in my mind that I'd be on the field with them, but I was able to do that. That was an opportunity I'll never, never forget. At the end of that career, I think, uh, uh, that was about 1960. Uh, there were some gentlemen that started the American Football League. Uh, Baron Hilton was one. Uh, Lamar Hunt, who was over here, was one. Uh, and they got together and uh, started a league, and there was an opportunity for coaches. And uh, Sid Gilman was named the head coach of the Chargers at that time. It was the Los Angeles Chargers. and. Uh, I, I called him on the phone and uh, said, uh, you know, I really need a, a coaching job. And, uh, and he says, what kind of experience do you have? And I said, uh, well, I've played, but I've never coached. And he said, you're hired. <laughs> <laughs> and I appreciate that opportunity, Sid, very much, because working under Sid was, uh, uh, you know, really something special. It was uh, a research project. It was uh, great guidance. It was. Uh, uh, learning experience where he kind of let me have my head and uh, guided me when uh, I needed guidance and he did that very, very well and I appreciate that very much. And then after, you know, you, uh, after uh, being in uh, the American Football League for a while, uh, there was an opportunity with Don Shula in Baltimore and uh, again, a timely opportunity and uh, uh, he hired me and uh, gave me the, uh, the necessary things to uh, uh, do a job. And I, uh, I really have to apologize to him uh, for Super Bowl III. Uh, that wasn't uh, one of the finer memories that we had. But again, an opportunity came and uh, that was afforded by the Pittsburgh Steelers. And uh, 
to not only the job opportunity that was great, but uh, living in the city of Pittsburgh was great because uh, one of the things that I've really failed to mention earlier is that atmosphere is a, is a huge thing, it's a big thing. I had atmosphere in, uh, in high school where uh, you come in and you have the opportunity to grow. We had atmosphere at the University of Dayton. And in Pittsburgh, one of the things that was a real problem when I came there was, uh, I don't want to say a lack of atmosphere, but we trained out in South Park. And uh, if anybody has seen South Park, it was a rather de uh, uh, depressing place, it really was. And uh, when Free River Stadium was put together, and this was put together by the citizens of Pittsburgh, I think it was a turnaround uh, for our whole football team. Uh, we drafted some great people. Uh, we drafted the likes of, uh, of uh, Joe Green, uh, Terry Bradshaw, Jack Ham. Uh, you know, and they came into that place. But we played the first game in uh, in Free River Stadium against the uh, New York Jets, and that was the team we lost to in Super Bowl three. And uh, I was a little antsy about this game. And I walked around the locker room, and Ray Mansfield was sitting there. He was the center for us. And I couldn't believe the look on his face because uh, his eyes were aglow, they were twinkling, and it was the atmosphere of a locker room. And uh, a training camp that we had come from that uh, uh, was really something special. And these guys went out on the field, and because of that atmosphere, the new stadium, uh, the new teammates, uh, they went out there and we won the first game in Three River Stadium, and uh, from that time on, it was all uphill. You know, I said you have to be lucky, and I was. You know, we had a lot of people going through this whole thing that I am very grateful to. Grateful to the coaches that, uh, that I've had, grateful to the players that I've worked with because one of the great learning situations is trying to teach a player a particular technique or a response and uh, the feedback that you get from them. And I would be ever grateful and thankful because uh, the path to uh, some very good things uh, happened because of these people. I said, uh, Opportunity was important, timely opportunity. But I think the single most important thing that we had, and we had in the Steelers of the 70s, was an ability to work together. You know, it's called teamwork. And, uh, you know, it's tough to describe that, to use that word. But the thing that uh, stuck out in my mind is that we had a lot of people that didn't worry about what somebody else did. If someone else was having a tough time on a particular day, they reached down and got it up a little more. Uh, they got the thing done. You know, whatever they had to do, they did to win. There was never a reason to let down. You know, right now you hear about teamwork and it's defined as 50-50, and that is a falsehood. There's no such thing as 50-50. You know, you do whatever you have to do as part of the team. You may have to carry somebody. We had, a, we had an offensive line when we were playing Houston that was uh, decimated with the flu. Our offense couldn't move the ball. We had an injury to the quarterback. Uh, it was a time when maybe our defense and our special teams uh, could have said, hey, it's time to fold our tent and go home. It didn't happen that way. We had a bunch of guys, Joe Green, Jack Lambert, Jack Hand, Mel Blunt. You know, they'd get together and reach down, and uh, what they did is they limited a running attack. When they tried to run the ball, there was a Joe Green in the running lane. There was a Jack Lambert hammering on him. They went back to pass, Pastorini, and Joe Green was all over him on the back, L.C. Greenwood. Uh, the, uh, they just took the ball away from him, and we had the ball in scoring territory. We were able to kick field goals. To me, that's teamwork. Another week, the offense carried it while the defense uh, struggled. But that is something that uh, uh, right now in a society of confrontation, you know, we've got male against female. We've got black against white. We've got uh, labor against management in a confrontational thing. Well, you know, the, the shame of it is some people have made progress through confrontation, but I can't tell you how much you can gain, how much progress you can make by working together as a team, by helping one another. You get much more done that way. And if there's anything the Steelers of the 70s epitomized 
I think it's that teamwork. Thank you very much.